over the years you've been at Tesla, you've done a lot of amazing um, breakthrough ideas and engineering, all of it, um, from the data engine to the human side, all of it. Can you speak to why you chose to leave Tesla? Basically, as I described that, Ren, I think over time during those five years, I've kind of uh, gotten myself into a little bit of a managerial position. Uh, most of my days were, you know, meetings and growing the organization and making um, decisions about uh, sort of high-level strategic decisions about the team and what it should be working on and so on. And uh, it's, it's kind of like a corporate executive role, and I can do it. I think I'm okay at it, uh, but it's not like fundamentally what I what I enjoy. And so I think uh, when I joined, uh, there was no computer vision team because Tesla was just going from the transition of using Mobileye, a third-party vendor for all of its computer vision, to having to build its computer vision system. So when I showed up, there were two people training deep neural networks, <laughs> and they were training them at a computer at their at their legs, like yeah. down. They were doing some kind of basic classification task. Yeah, and so I kind of like grew that into what I think is a fairly respectable <laughs> deep learning team, a massive compute cluster, a very good um, data annotation organization, and. Uh, I was very happy with where that was. It became quite autonomous, and so I kind of uh, stepped away. And I, uh, you know, I'm very excited to do much more technical things again. Yeah, and kind of like refocus on AGI. What was this soul searching like? Because you took a little time off and think. Like, what? Um, how many mushrooms did you take? No, I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> uh, I mean, what? What was going through your mind? The hu human lifetime is finite. Yeah, you did a few incredible things. You're, you're one of the best teachers of AI in the world. You're one of the best. And I don't mean that, I mean that in the best possible way. You're one of the best tinkerers in the AI world, meaning like understanding the fundamental fundamentals of how something works by building it from scratch and playing with the, with the basic intuitions. It's like Einstein, Feynman, we're all really good at this kind of stuff. Like yeah. small example of a thing to, to play with it, to try to understand it. Uh, so that, and obviously now with, with Tessa, you help build a team of machine learning um, uh, like engineers and a system that actually accomplishes something in the real world. So g given all that, like what, what was the soul searching like? Well, it was hard because obviously I love the company a lot and I love, I love Elon. I love Tesla. I want, um, it was always hard to leave. I love the team basically. Um, but yeah, I think I actually, I would be potentially like interested in revisiting it. Maybe coming back at some point, uh, working in Optimus, working in AGI at Tesla. Uh, I think Tesla is going to do incredible things. It's basically like, uh, it's a massive large scale robotics kind of company with a ton <laughs> of in-house talent for doing really incredible things. Yeah. And I think uh, human robots are going to be amazing. Uh, I think uh, autonomous transportation is going to be amazing. All this is happening at Tesla. So I think it's just a really amazing organization. So being part of it and helping it along, I think was very, basically I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, it was basically difficult for those reasons because I love the company. Uh, but you know, I, I'm happy to potentially at some point come back for Act Two. Mm -hmm. But I felt like at this stage, I built the team. It felt autonomous, and uh, I became a manager. <laughs> and I wanted to do a lot more technical stuff. I wanted to learn stuff. I wanted to teach stuff. Uh, and uh, I, I just kind of felt like it was a good time for uh, for a change of pace a little bit.